everybody and today i'm reviewing a race with a demon for teenage mutant ninja turtles so uh this episode um, it's a uh, it's quite an interesting one even though it's not my favorite but uh, there's a lot to appreciate about this episode it's basically about turtles finally tracking down that a uh, mutant car that got hit by mutagen a few episodes ago and we're finally seeing what's happening it's basically going on the rampage around town of the farmhouse. And it's on the news. And the turtles must find a way to stop it. But it's this episode's more about Casey Jones and Donnie. And we finally get some they learn to somewhat respect each other in this episode finally, because they're constantly bickering over April. That's what basically happens in the first scene. They're out grocery shopping, and after it's over, they they can't have Donnie drive because um, they don't want people seeing him. And April and Casey are, are... I mean, like, April is annoyed that Casey is constantly arguing with Donnie, and she just wants to have a peaceful drive. And they do go quiet after the little bicker, but that's where they run into the car. This, um... I don't know what it's called. I'm, I'm not good with car names... Not much of a car guy, but this car, sweet ride looks cool. It's basically called the Speed Demon. Quite a name. And it leads to the turtles trying to find this car because, I don't know, it's just, it's a mutant. But when they do catch up to it, they we do see a person in it. And it, it's just like this giant gel looking thing. I, I, us, and but we do find out a twist later with this car. As a, uh, as they're constantly in this car chase, uh, but what we do get this cool moment that kind of reminded me of the '90s movie where, uh, Donnie and Casey help uh, fix a car, and that's what they do. They find this old car, that's kind of old school looking, and they make it more advanced with Krang tech, and. We do get a new crew mutant on their team, and that being a chicken. I think his name is Dr. Kluser Stick or something. And basically what happens is this chicken accidentally came in while Donnie was examining the mutagen they found from the, the, the little car. And then they used the mutagen and he ate it and then he gets a gigantic brain. And now this chicken is extremely smart and apparently Mikey was looking for it. And Mikey basically created another mutant. First ice cream kitty, now the chicken. And Donnie's even calling him out on it. But it turns out this chicken is actually really smart, as we can see. He can do like equations really well. And he's able to help build this car so they can track down the speed demon. And they do. They end up... What they do find out is that there's a man who's actually trapped in this car. And he ends up getting pulled out when they finally shoot a cannon at it, I'm pretty sure. And then the man honestly looks like the snake guy all the way back in season one. Where the guy got turned into snake weed. That's, I'm pretty sure they probably used the same model. But uh, they changed them up a little. But it turns out, as I said earlier, the plot twist is this car is actually a mutant car if you if someone gets eaten by this car it literally they literally come out looking horrified looking and they turn it basically into like this this mutant ghost mutant car or whatever and he basically eats Donnie and he becomes the speed demon Donnie I I is it just me or am I just way into uh character just transforming into something i'm not trying to be weird or anything but just i don't know Donnie's design looks so freaky in this like he is just i can tell they made a hot wheels out of this because i think they did when they used to do these toys called t something and there was like these hot wheel looking cars for the turtles and they had a speed demon version of it it came with donnie and he has like control sticks as for both staffs and basically what happens is this mutant car is going to challenge Chase, Casey to a race. And if Casey wins, he can have Donnie back. 
He loses and he keeps Donnie. And Donnie's just looking berserk and ah, I gotta talk about that design again. And like, look at it. It's so freakish looking. It's so over the top. Like, it's straight up horror aspect to it. Like, I can see this in a horror movie. Since these episodes kind of had like a horror Halloween-ish theme. So that's cool. And then basically what happens is, is kind of, the rest of the episode is just like a big race. And the, with the chicken's help, they, they are able to uh, win the race. And Donnie can basically come back. And Casey and him are finally friends. I mean, they were, but like they were always bickering over April. And April's just glad to finally see them back. And what happens to the car is basically... The turtles go in April go into the party wagon and they literally come out of a mountain and and they literally jam into the the party wagon into this car and then the car literally falls off after Donnie came out of it and the car explodes and then it's gone. So and he's the car said he'd be back but uh, we know it's not coming back. So uh, that's race with the the demon. It was uh, an all right episode. It was just a more silly, grotesque kind of episode. That's what I like about it. The, there's some creative aspects to it. I like the idea that this car can turn you into like this mutant, gigantic thing, and it possesses you. Like it, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. This episode was just slow a little, but uh, I just really want to see the turtles go back to New York. But uh, there's only two episodes left in the farm episodes. We already made it that far. And so uh, I'd probably give this episode like a, a low 7 out of 10. I think the next episode is this one with this dragon looking thing. We'd have to wait and see for that one. So uh, that being said, thanks for watching and turtle power.